Hey YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rider Beer Review. We're going to drink another beer from Block 3 that was dropped off by the one, the only, Colgate via Sensodyne. So this is Monk's Punk. Monk's Punk is a Belgian coffee ale. That's what it says, guys. Belgian coffee ale. This is all there is for a uh, label, so you don't get to see much. Um, 5.8 percent alcohol by volume. St. Jacob's, Ontario is where this brewery is located. If you've never been there, you should go. It's a beautiful building. It's a beautiful town. Here's the only thing. I want bottle cap, guys. Come on, I've been in business long enough. You can get a Block 3 bottle cap. You sell out all the time. You're, f you're popular. You're popular. Just do it. Just get the bottle cap. Get the bottle cap so I can put it on my fridge. Alrighty, now there is a lot of coffee stouts. There's a lot of coffee pale ales out there. There's a lot of uh, just coffee beers in general. I don't think I've ever had a coffee Belgian. And that is a beautiful beer. Um, look at that. That is a beautiful beer. Hazy. Uh, amber, nice reddish color, beautiful head, very small bubbles, not much of a snap, crackle, pop going on there, but beautiful color too, just slightly off-white smell. Oh. Mm. Okay. What this smells like to me. It's beautiful. It just smells like beautiful. Uh, it actually smells like a. Oh, it smells like a like coffee candy. Do coffee candies exist? Oh, they do. I get little Asian coffee candies from this little Asian lady at work. She brings them in, uh, and she gives them to me. And that's that's kind of what this smell reminds me of. These little, somewhat sugary, somewhat coffee-like uh, candies. And by sugary, I mean just sweet, um, not powdered sugar or anything on them. Mm, a little bit of fruit esters coming out of that, too. Mm, nice. Like a touch of apple and a touch of banana. Banana, apple, coffee, sugar. That's what I'm smelling. It smells divine. Let's try it. <laughs> Cheerio. Cheers. Okay, I'm not a big coffee fan, but I love this. Um, it's one of, I, I don't know if they've actually used it or not, but it, it comes off with that taste that everybody, again, I'm not a coffee fan, I don't drink much coffee, but everybody that I know, like big, like some big coffee snobs will say a lot of high-end coffee will come off with a slight sourness. This comes off with that slight sourness right at the beginning. Ever so slight finish, ever so slight coffee bitterness, like black coffee, but at the same time it's mixed with a uh, overlaying sweetness that kind of reminds me of like a, uh, a, a latte, but um, a latte where you take two of those swizzle sticks, you know the swizzle sticks with sugar when you're at a high end place, and just, eh. yeah a latte with like two of those swizzle sticks in it. So a touch of tiny sourness, and it's not like the, um, it's not like a turned beer sourness, like I said, it, it, it does mix with the coffee, and it is the same as a lot of the, I've had a few high-end coffees that have had that too, there was one, um, I can't even remember the beer now, but there was a beer we did with, uh, huge high-end Jamaican roast coffee, and, uh, it had that too, it had that little sourness at the front. Very drinkable. Uh, if you aren't into coffee at all, if you're not into coffee at all, you could still drink this. The sweetness mixes well with it. 
the it's a very light beer even though it's a dark beer it's a very light beer and that's a uh, that's another thing that people have to get it over is oh it looks dark it's gonna be really heavy not necessarily I mean there are a lot of light dark beers and this is one of them it smells really nice it does not taste overly no, I shouldn't, uh, it doesn't have an overabundance of flavor, and I like that about it. And then the lack of an overabundance of flavor is what sells this beer for me. This beer is this beer because of that lack of overabundant flavor. It has flavor. It has a sourness. It has a sweetness. It has a beautiful coffee bitterness and coffee flavor. And that's it, but they're all so subtle that this is so easy to drink. This... Belgian punk <laughs> will fuck you up. Why? Because, yeah, it's 5.8% alcohol, which isn't that high, but you could drink this stuff all day without even realizing you're really drinking beer. And that's the greatest thing about it. I mean, as a craft beer lover, I love big, complex beers. But every so often... A nice, refreshing beer is what I'm looking for. And this is just that. A nice, refreshing sipping beer. You could drink this all day, not have a problem at all. It just screams, drink me. The look. The scent. The head. Yeah, the head faded, but look, there's still that little line. It's reminding you what you have in your glass. Oh, it, it, oh, excuse me. These guys, these guys right here in St. Jacob's do some great things, mostly because they experiment. They're much, they're much like, uh, five paddles in that aspect there's always something new coming out from them and it's all usual but not always it's usually something interesting i mean they do have to play their safe stuff because saint jacobs doesn't really have a craft beer movement until now um yeah you're really close to waterloo and kitchener and guelph which all do but saint jacobs itself just got it with them and they got a great brewery for their first brewery and these guys know what they're doing. They're great guys. They make great beer. And I love this thing. Uh, out of 10, I mean, I have to look at it with flavor as well. Price, it's going to be a great price because their prices are actually very reasonable, especially for craft beer. Um, price, flavor, everything else. Ooh, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. I'm going to say the same thing I've been saying this whole review. That 8.5 is not because it's the tastiest beer out there. It isn't blowing up with complex flavors. But it's just one of those beers that has all the flavors I like. And isn't overpowering where I could drink it all day. And that is amazing. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Devin. And thank you, Block3.